Hey everyone, History Mystery Man with you again, this time from Madison, Indiana, on the banks of the Ohio River. This town is absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna love this one. I'm in front of the old Broadway fountain, one of the four remaining fountains this style left in the world. It was originally exhibited in Philadelphia in 1876 and presented to the town of Madison 10 years later, 1886. But there's a lot to see, there's a lot to do here. This town is absolutely spectacular. You're gonna love this one. And best of all, the History Mystery Man is on duty at your service. Welcome to Madison, Indiana, small town America. Let's go check it out. How do you like Madison? We love it. Isn't it it's cool? It's quaint. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful, it's, architecture is Where beautiful. are you guys from? Indianapolis. Greenwood. Greenwood and? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Are you, do, are you shooting a commercial? Uh, no, small town documentaries I do. I go around to visit small town America and this is one of the nicest, coolest I small know, towns I've ever precious. been to. This place is fascinating. Yeah, it's yeah. precious. We took the trolley ride. So we Did you really? The yeah. Oh. And we're going to do the mansion. Oh, the Lanier mansion? Yes, yeah, so we had to do that. Yeah, you got to do it. You got to okay, do it. Well, have Thanks. Fun. For, thank you so much. Thanks for talking to me. Is this an antique store? Antiques and um, resale designer furniture and just oh, about cool. everything else. Oh, wow. You have a lot of nice things here. Thank you. Wow. Very nice. Is this your store? I'm one of the people who are here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you from Madison? Not from Madison, but I, I live you, here now. How do you like living here? Uh, I do. I love it. People are friendly. Um, cost of living is good, uh, they really support the local economy, there's just all sorts of reasons to like Madison. There's always something going on. And there's so much character here down this main drag, oh. the historic buildings, it's incredible. Well, it, it has uh, longest, our largest uh, contigu contiguous uh, historic designated areas in the country, I understand. It's beautiful. It, yeah, it, it really, really is. is. Yeah. Thanks for letting me in. Sure. And, and you sell antiques here, right? Antiques oh, and, and, as I say, resale designer furniture, home decor. And what's the name of the business? Wow, what a find. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys from Madison? Uh, no, we're no. not. Oh, how do you like Madison? It's nice. It's, it's very nice. nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, yes. it is. It is so nice. Ooh, that music really fits. Thank you, ladies, for coming in. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Hey everyone, meet James F.D. Lanier, 1800 to 1881. He was a lawyer, banker, and clerk to the House of Representatives here in Madison, Indiana. We're going to tour his mansion just across the way in just a moment. Looking forward to that. He eventually moved off to New York City where he started his own banking firm. It was there he made unsecured loans to the governor of Indiana to support the war effort during the Civil War. Loans totaling one million dollars that were eventually paid back with interest. James F.D. Lanier. Here we go. Okay, if you were a guest, you would arrive right here in a carriage and you'd have gone in this door. But we're not going to go in this door today. We're going to go in the side entrance where the servants went in, right this way. Now, a lot of people lived here and worked here. And they all ate food and this is where the, all the food was prepared. On a wood burning hearth. 1850, this is how it would have been. Meals, and the family would eat in here on special occasions too. Luxury goods were coming to Madison in the 1840s. Scenic wallpaper was popular. Most of it came from England or France. This is French. Moved back to Madison. It was a city that was growing with lots of potential. So he came back here, became a bank president. That's where he made enough money to build this place. 1844 is when they moved in. This is the view you would see as a guest. The ceilings were there to impress you. They're over 14 feet tall and all the detail work up there, it's all original. This is where he would receive his guests. This is where they would have had their wakes. Their finest furniture would have been in here because this side was for the uh, visitors. This side was for the family. They were wealthy, so they had leisure time. This, this is the library. And that bookcase is original, so that was really here. The books on the top shelf are his book. That's his bio right below. They all have interesting doors. 
This one's interesting here because of the shape. The door's curved to fit into the cylindrical shape of the stairwell. Hmm. Wow. Goes up all three flights. This is how they ventilated the house. And in addition, this is how they would let the light come in through the skylight. So it was both functional and decorative. This is a sitting room. His property went all the way down to the river. The street wasn't there. You said this is the master bedroom? This is the master bed chamber, yes. Mm -hmm. It's the master because it has a room attached to it. None of the other rooms do. So this is where Mr. and Mrs. Lanier probably shared a room. They moved in in 1844. James, his first wife, Elizabeth, and four of their eight children. They had eight. Three daughters, though, had already married and moved out. One son, little John, he drowned before they got here. Well, two years after they got in this house, that first wife, Elizabeth, she died from tuberculosis. So he remarried, and he had three more children with his second wife. So he had 11 children. Six of the 11 lived in this house with him. This, this is the room of the two teenage daughters that were still at home, Mary and Louisa. That's Mr. Lanier's desk that he used throughout his life, so we're really lucky to have that. Original piece. This is the room of the eldest son, Alexander. He's 30 years old in 1850. He attended Yale. Then he returned to Madison, took ownership of the house. Everybody else had moved out, so he moved in, and he stayed for the rest of his life. He's the this was the room of the youngest son that lived here, Charles. Charles was 13 years old in 1850. This is the room of David. David was an indentured servant, 15 years of age, probably not very comfortable at all. Was he African American? He was African American, yes. And within the frame is, a, is the bare plaster of the original wall, and there's a little handprint there. Of a young child. Uh, so the home is owned by the state now? State or? of Indiana owns it, yes. Okay. It's yeah. operated by the Indiana State Museum and Historic Site Corporation. Got it. The home is exceptionally well preserved. I mean, it's, it's incredible. The benefit is nobody living here for all those years is nobody came in and modernized most of it. So oh, that makes sense. The part of the house has been on the tour for 93 years. This part has only been on the tour for six months. Now this, uh, this is a workroom for the servants. They were, they were the ones that did all the hard work that allowed the family to live like they did. Family wants to bathe. Servants would have to heat the water up, carry it up here, put it in the bathtub, and then all the family members would use that same bath water, starting with? The father. Father. First. Father yep. first, and then? The mother. Mother, and then? Children. The children. The baby no. last. Baby last. <laughs> Isn't that where the saying come out, come around, uh, don't throw out the baby with the bath water? Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. That is absolutely <laughs> correct. Were the, do you think the, the servants were permitted to bathe following the family order? I don't think I would. There's a full basement underneath us, stone walls, 10 feet high. Well, thank you for the tour. That was yes, that super. Excellent. Well, thanks for coming. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here today. Yes, sir. It's wonderful. Dig that front yard. Hey, excuse me. Are you guys from Madison? No. No? How do you like Madison? I love Madison. I can. It's beautiful. What is it you love about it? I love the people of Madison it's for and TV the architecture, show. and it's just a really small great, town documentaries. It's a great community. It's really unique to Indiana. It really is. I'm really proud to live here. Oh, that's so cool of you to say that. I'm proud to be here. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thanks for talking Thank to you. me. I appreciate. Where are the rest of you from? Oh, all Wayne. over. Fort Wayne. Indianapolis. Hey, are you guys from Madison? No, we're from out of town. Oh, out of towners. How do you like Madison? Pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. Hey, are you guys from Madison? No. No? How's Rover doing? Enjoying the day. Yeah, are you guys from Madison? No. No? How do you like Madison? It's great. It's a beautiful town, it's a beautiful isn't it? Beautiful town. Wish we were here when the riverboat was coming in. We're oh, missing it. Does the riverboat come in here? Yes. Really? Yeah, it comes in. It's actually due in on Monday. Really? And if you can get it, it's worth it. 
catch it when it's docking or leaving because they do. They play well, I wouldn't want to swim out to it, no. No, they play the calliope as they're coming in. And you oh. hear the calliope. That's town. so cool. This yeah. place, this town has so much charm and character. Ooh, yeah, Is it just me? No. Nope. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, great town. Thank you hey, so much. Yep, I got a name for you guys. Yeah. The Roving Smartass of Madisonville, Indiana. <laughs> 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 Should I be proud or? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, all right. Absolutely. That means you're I'm, dedicated. I'm going with History Mystery Man today, though, okay. if you don't mind. What kind of dog you got here? Th this is. What? This is Dingo, eighth baby. Baby Dingo? No, um, are, are you from Madison, Indiana? Yes. Yes, uh, yes I like it here. I, I've brought up and raised here. I, it's home. Uh, but this is a neat little town. What, yes, it is. It what, is. What's your, what was it like growing up here? Uh, most of it was good. You know, you, you, Do you feel people safer? are friendly. Yeah. It's, uh, town's got a lot of scenery and the fall of the year it's to me it's really pretty then you know when these trees start turning color and it makes it all together different hey thanks for your time today You're quite I appreciate it. thank you sir you are welcome hey are you guys from madison no nope. oh dang it i'm trying to figure <laughs> out what's so cool about this town a lot i can tell everything <laughs> everything yeah i like that answer This place smells good. How long you been in business? Uh, it'll be 10 years in November. How's it going for you? It's going well. We're still here. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> How do you like Madison? We love it. I can see why. It's such a beautiful town. Yeah. I've fallen in love with it and I just got here. <laughs> this is a cool store. Do you have, oh, I see the Twain room. Do you have any books, original books by Mark Twain? Uh, we Sam? have the books of Mark Twain. Wow. I mean, they're not original publications. But you have but all the books. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's my favorite. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. The Twain room. Enjoyed oh. your piano. Oh, thank I you. wish you would have kept a break now. Oh, dang it. I wish you, I wanted you to keep going. Oh, uh, well, it's all right. Just, I'll come That's back okay. Sam Clemens, aka yeah. Mark Twain. One of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Go to heaven for the climate and hell for the company, he always <laughs> said. <laughs> I like that. It's a good one. I like the kitty cat, too. Look, this is a, look at these hardwood floors. Oh, this is just... Uh, Madison is fascinating. This building is beautiful. Any idea when the building was built? Uh, 1834, as far as Seriously? 1834? Yes. Wow well before the Civil War, well before. Are those original uh, tin ceilings? Uh, it's not original to the 1834 building. Uh, we estimate that uh, the tin ceiling went on in probably the 1920s. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Still, uh, that puts it in that classic category oh, for me. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but this yeah. building is gorgeous. We love it. I bet you do. Thank you so much. There are historical gems all over Madison, one of which would be the Schofield House, Madison's first two-story brick house. Originally a tavern and rooming house, the Grand Masonic Lodge was organized here in 1818. And just kid a corner to the Schofield House is the Jer- Ooh, don't you love those bells? No, oh, that's really adding to the character of Madison Indiana. This is the Jeremiah Sullivan House, built in 1818, considered Madison's first mansion. Wow, very cool. Sullivan and his family lived in the home for more than 70 years.
Metronet, the power of fiber. Coffee works pretty good for me. You have one of the very best views in Madison out your front door. We do. And you are, uh, you're from Madison? For 30 years. 30, yeah. That's plenty good enough for me. How do you like living here? We love it here. I can imagine. Tell me about it. Uh, well, I mean, everything's within walking distance. We, yeah. just, we just came from swimming all day. So, so I'm going to watch the music and we just came back from the pool. And, how so, cool! Yeah, I love that 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 view and off the yeah. off the front porch here. This I do small town documentaries. I'm the history mystery man, and I'm fascinated with Madison. Um, and I know you've been here a while. What are your thoughts on this place? Well, I've, as I've grown older, I certainly appreciate it a lot more than when I was a little boy. But uh, uh, it's nice not being on an interstate. It's nice having the river here and uh, small town. Do you feel safer in a small town? Yes, much much more so. The driving, you know, it's easy to get, get around. You're not uh, 30 minutes uh, to get anywhere. I mean, if you got to get to the store, the library, the courthouse, anywhere. So. Well, I appreciate you guys chatting with me briefly okay. here today. I hate to, uh, sorry to bombard your front porch. I just... No, we have <laughs> I, I really appreciate we you guys. We just went to the Crystal Beach swimming pool. Oh, so, yeah, we I just saw that on. earlier. Yeah. And now you have the music and festival yeah. on your front porch yeah. tonight at the Lanier House. So yeah, you have to come back. I'm coming back. Okay. Whether you like it or not, okay. uh, the history of Mystery Man is coming back. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm What's... from Toledo, Ohio. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just go from small town to small town and find out what's cool. It doesn't. You don't have to look hard here in Madison. Okay. That is such a cool house, that little blue house. Yeah. It's beautiful. Did you really? I swear to God, hang on one second. It's, what do you know about this house? It's so it used to be the carriage house for the White House right there. It used to be a, the carriage house yes. for the White House. Yes. Oh. Way back. How, do you know what year it was built? Um, it you was. You could guess. Um, 18. 35, something wow, like that. yeah. that's spectacular. Is yeah. it pretty cool inside? Yeah. Oh, why'd you sell it? Um, it got to be too much work. Oh, really? Yeah, we gave up the guest house business. So. Uh, oh, I got you. Yeah. Well, it sure is a pretty little house. Uh, yeah. Are you from Madison? Not originally. Oh, how no. do you like Madison? I love it. I, I hear that from everybody. I've been oh, here yeah. just a day and I'm in love with the place. Oh, really? It's Where spectacular. Are you from? Toledo, Ohio. Oh. Okay. History mystery man. I do little small town videos across America. Oh, you know, so. oh this is a lovely little town. Oh, it's I love it. Oh, yeah. I could live here. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like stepping back in time. Oh, it really is. And since I'm a history geek, that works yeah. out well for me. Yeah. I like your old house. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks yeah. for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. Now we're on the other. <laughs>
Yeah. yeah. Only fitting that I end the day in front of the Lanier Mansion, right where it started. A little festival, a little party, some live music. Like I said, it's been an absolutely spectacular day. If I leave Madison, Indiana with one thing, magic pure magic this place is loaded with it you absolutely must come to madison indiana on the banks of the ohio river and experience this place for yourself it really is that spectacular for the history mystery man i'm don radeball we'll see you in the next small town america hey good timing <laughs>